Hello and welcome back to another Horus Heresy painting tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how you can paint your Space Marines in the colours of the Emperor's Children. So here we have the Space Marine who has been primed with the Chaos Black Spray Primer. Now I've also kept the right arm which contains the bolter and also the shoulder pad and I've kept this separate so it's a lot easier to uh, reach the main body sections on the Space Marine. Now the first task is to paint over all of the power armour with Nagaroth Knight. So for this step I'm using the Citadel Small Dry Brush. Um, now this is because it's a flat brush and it makes a base coating these colours a lot easier. So I've watered down the Nagaroth Knight ever so slightly just so it gives me a nice and even coverage. And with it being a base paint, it will go on uh, quite nicely, even though it's over such a kind of dark colour such as the black here. Now it doesn't matter too much at this stage if you overlap onto the other areas, as we'll be painting over these at a later stage. So once the base layer of Nagaroth Knight has been completed, we can now start with a wash. And for this, we'll be using Druchi Violet. Now I'll be applying this wash using a uh, larger brush because uh, there's not really doesn't really matter too much if I go over the details here. And I want to make sure that this wash gets in all of the recesses and creates some nice shading. And the reason why I'm using the Drucci Violet wash as opposed to just like a black wash is because it will kind of keep the colour of the purple. It will still keep it really nice and rich whilst also offering some level of shading. So now that the wash is dry, we can now start with the highlights on the armour. And for this we'll be first of all using Jean Sealer Purple, and we're applying this over all of the edges of the power armour. So for this step I'm using a, a smaller detail brush, and I've mixed a small amount of Lamium Medium into the mix, which improves the flow and makes it a lot easier to perform the highlights. Now I'm just going to be dragging the brush along the edges here, very lightly, and it just creates a nice highlight. Um, and I'll be repeating this step across all of the edges on the purple power armour. Now, I have used uh, pure Jean Sealer purple here, however, if you wanted a slightly darker and less kind of contrasting highlight, you could mix in a small amount of Xerius purple, and this would darken it down slightly uh, and create a much more subdued highlight. So now that the first highlight is complete, we can now move on to some of the extreme highlights that we'll be doing on some of the upper edges and also the corners as well. And for this, we'll be using Dakalia Lilac. So for this highlight, I'm concentrating on the upper sections and the corners where the light would hit. I'm just going to use my small detail brush here. Now I don't need to apply much Lamia Medium into this mix because the edge paints are already quite uh, fluid, so I'm just going to dot onto the corners here just where the light would be hitting the extremities and then also onto the corner there as well and I'm going to uh, dot around the miniature just uh, wherever there's like an upper edge or a corner such as the knee pads here and I'll just be continuing this across the rest of the miniature so now that the armour is complete the next step is to clean up any of the gaps in between the armour and for this we'll be using a bad and black so this step is designed to clear up any areas that we may have overspilled when we initially painted the armour. So this includes painting the areas in between the joints, such as the, the back of the knee here, also the elbows as well. If you've got any equipment, such as these grenades, you can paint these with the black as well. So I'm just going to uh, take my detail brush here and just paint over these areas, making sure not to overspill onto any areas that we've already painted. So next we'll be highlighting any of the black areas, so this includes the uh, the gaps between the armour and also the bolter weapon stock as well. And for this we'll be using Mechanicus Standard Grey. So for highlighting the areas between the legs I'm once again using my small detail brush and I've mixed a small amount of Lamium Medium into the mix just to improve the flow slightly. I'm just going to drag the brush lightly over the raised sections, just creating a highlight, as you can see here. I'm just going to do this over the uh, bits between the legs and also on the stock of the bolter as well. So we'll be continuing with the highlights onto the black areas with a further highlight of Dawnstone. So as we did for the second highlight on the arm, we'll be uh, focusing this highlight mainly on the upper edges and just doing a small amount of Dawnstone with some Lamia Medium in there. Um, and I'll just be using just a very small amount just on these upper edges here. And then also along the top of the stock um, on the bolter as well. So in this next set we'll be focusing on the lenses and the eyes there and for this we'll be using Mephiston Red. When painting the eyes you want to be extremely careful uh, to use 
So when painting the eyes, you want to use a small brush. Um, you want to be very careful not to paint over onto the areas that we've already painted. So I'm just going to lightly use um, the tip of this brush just to get a small amount of the Mephiston Red inside the lens there as well. The trick is just to be very gentle and just let the paint build up over a few layers rather than just doing a large blob in the center there. So I'll be doing the, uh, the same as this onto the other lens as well. So now that we've base coated the eyes, we want to apply a small amount of shading, and for this we'll be using Karaberg Crimson. So as before, I'm using my uh, detail brush here. Now I want to just apply a small amount of the wash inside the eye. I don't want to uh, swamp it and uh, drown the colour in the wash. So I'm just going to use, be very careful not to overspill. And as you can see there, the, the, wa the wash is just filling around the edges and applying some shading. So I'll be doing the same uh, to the opposite lens as well. So for the next step we want to simulate the effect of a uh, shiny lens in the eye and for this we'll be using a small amount of Wild Rider Red and we'll be uh, using a small line inside the eye. So for this step we'll be uh, painting a very fine line of Wild Rider Red just at the bottom there to simulate a uh, kind of a gloss effect on the lens. Now you want to be very careful here and use the smallest brush that you have and I've uh, mixed it with a small amount of water just to improve the flow slightly. I'm just going to take a little bit more off that brush just focusing on this bottom section here, just a small line, it doesn't need to be too much, just along the bottom there, and that will create a nice glowing lens effect. The final step for painting the eyes is to apply a small dot of Ceramite White into the lenses. So as in the previous set, you want to use the smallest brush that you have possible to for, and I've uh, mixed my Ceramite White with a small amount of water, and this will make it a lot easier to actually uh, create the dot. I'm just going to focus it onto this uh, back corner here, and this will almost act like a shine off the lens. I've just been very careful here, just to get my brush lined up properly, and just a small dot in the corner there. And there we go, once we've got the dot we can move on to the other lens as well. So now that we've got all the non-metallic paints out of the way, we can start working on the metal areas. And the first paint that we'll be using for these is Lead Belcher. And we'll be base coating all the metal areas such as the harness, the vents on the back here, the pipes, and also uh, the wet areas on the bolter as well. So at this stage you want to be extremely careful not to overspill onto any other areas. So as a result of that I'm using uh, my small detail brush here. Now the great thing about lead belch is it's a base paint so it will cover really nicely over these areas. So it's just uh, paint the harness on the front here. And you can see there it's creating a nice uh, even coverage layer just without even having to do multiple layers. We've just got one single paint on there. Let's go move down here. Be very careful not to spill onto the purple. As you can see there we'll just carry on with this technique across the rest of the miniature and don't forget to fill in any metal areas on the separate arm as well. So once the first layer is completed on all the metal areas we can now start with a wash and for this we'll be using non oil. So this wash will really allow me to get some good shading onto the metal areas. I'm just going to be applying the non oil quite liberally across the metal areas as you can see here with the wash going in the recesses and creating some nice shading. Don't have to be too neat at this stage but I would advise not just spreading it everywhere, making sure you do try to keep uh, within the areas of the silver. So once the wash is dry you can now start with the highlights on the metal areas and for this we'll be using Iron Breaker. So for this step we want to focus on the metal, the edges of the metal areas, for example on the power pack here and I've got my uh, silver on the brush there, I've just got to it down ever so slightly just to make it a lot easier, I'm just going to be focusing around these edges such as this, just painting it on very lightly just so I get the edges there. So once you're finished with highlighting the silver areas, the next step is to start working on the gold areas and for this we'll be base coating with Balthazar Gold. So for the next step I'll be concentrating on the edges of the shoulder pads just there and also on the, the circle in the middle of the chest just there as well. So I'm just going to my uh, detail brush here. I'm going to uh, paint along the edges, being very very careful not to overspill into any other areas. And the reason I'm using Balthazar Gold is it's a nice base colour in which we can start off and we can uh, add a more brighter gold to it at a later stage. So next what we'll be doing is washing over the areas that we've just painted gold and as you probably can tell I've also painted the studs on the leg and also on the shoulder pad there and we'll be washing over these areas with Agrax Earthshade. 
So once again I'm using my uh, detail brush here with some Magrax to the shade and I'm applying this straight out the pot because um, it doesn't really matter at this stage if you get a little bit over the areas, just enough, placing enough on these studs here just to apply a little bit of shading and also to kind of create a nicer, a warmer bronze effect so to speak. So the final step for painting this miniature is to highlight all of the gold areas with Sycorax Bronze. So once again I'm going to be using the detail brush and we're going to be focusing on the edges of the gold areas and just going to paint these on like this. And the reason why I'm using Sycorax Bronze is because it's a paler bronze than the ones that we've used before. And I always find that bronze uh, contrasts much better against the purple than a, a straight bright gold would do. And here we have the completed miniature. So as you can see the right arm and the bolter has been attached to the miniature and the miniature has been placed onto a base as well. Now the only thing that's left to do is to apply some decals to the right shoulder pad. So if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all the latest Horus Heresy painting tutorials that I'll be doing and also let me know which legions you would like me to cover in future videos. Additionally if you would like to support me in making more tutorials you can do so by heading to the link in the description below. That will take you to my Patreon page where you can donate from as little as a dollar a month and that will just help me to keep on creating uh, tutorials every week or so. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.